Welcome back dito sa Active. Ito naman po yung starting 11 ng Team Socceru. As you can see, uh, Timpani uh, in that central attacking midfield and uh, Hector Zagi in uh, that left wing uh, para sa kanilang kuponan. So you can see for Socceru, we're going to look through to Timpani to create that offensive threat together with Michael Reyes. And then looking at Diliman victory liner, you have Caballas on, on goal, uh, replacing Jer Jer Teban Leung. And then of course, Zerudo and Santos on top. Dangerous pair. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Jay Avellana in goal for Team Soccer will have a big task of trying to stop Ariel Zerudo and Andoni Santos in case the uh, back four of Team Soccer is not able to do that on their own. That's right. So Jay Avellana will have a field day today and um, he needs to step up and be able to control the defense as well to be able to instruct and make sure that uh, Santos and Zerudo do not take any shots. This is a, a big game for Diliman because, uh, tulad nga po na sinabi namin kanina, they were only two points behind Pachanga and they are chasing that one and only promotion uh, up from Division 2 into Division 1. And yung talo nila dun si Cebu Queen City, that could have been that, uh, that stumble that Pachanga has been waiting for. And I can feel, I can feel the frustration on Diliman right now with that loss to Cebu and knowing that they have to win all their games and hope that Pachanga at least drops at least two games to be able to win the second division. Even a draw together with Pachanga will not cut it as in terms of goal difference. Matas oh, yung Pachanga. Pachanga with a goal differential of uh, a whopping 92. That is crazy. Uh, and, and you were saying they only gave up pretty much like what, six or seven six goals? Six or seven goals. This entire season. So we pretty much, you know, see the. The, the solid uh, formation and the composure of Team Pachanga and knowing that they really want to be in the first division of the UFL. As both teams have uh, their final huddle before we start this game off, yung Team Soccer Room naman po, sa simula rin ng, uh, ng uh, UFL Cup natin, it was a shaky start for them. Sa simula rin ng, uh, ng league competition natin, it was also shaky pag the, uh, in, uh, you know, with the, that first round. Pero pagdating ng latter parts of it, they have really pulled things together for their team. Gaya ng sinabi natin earlier, the Team Soccer Rules is actually the first time they played a, that they formed an 11 aside team and to play in a competition like this, in this kind of level. But you can see as the, day, as the games have gone by, they played almost like 17 games. The chemistry is there with Soccer Rules and they're, they're pretty much at hold uh, in the middle of the standings. So it's a pretty good uh, start for Team Soccer Rules and they will they will be here to stay in the second division and you know not only just hanging around at the bottom of second division talagang lumalaban na sila kasi aminin na natin when uh, when this team first saw action uh, akala ng mga tao it was just you know you know models playing football actually na surprise nga ako when they lost ng 15-1 to Loyola parang naisip ko this is a weekend football team oh, oh. you know malamang hindi naman sila nagpa-practice you know, they just play recreationally, but you know they've stepped up. They've stepped up. They've uh, they've, they've they've created that discipline among the team, and now they're in the middle of the standings. And uh, just two points back, if I'm not mistaken, of uh, of Union, and maybe making the top five of uh, the division two. Malaking uh, pagbabago yun para sa ganon tong uh, koponan, especially from yun nga si Rasabi mo, a former futsal team playing. Uh, in the middle of a 32 degree heat uh, on a full pitch that's right it's a warm weather right now so makikita natin from last week game yung soccer route tinalo nila yung yung union 6-0 and in their first round they actually drew two all two all or three all but you know 6-0 and this is a good this is a good start for soccer route Diliman with possession and there's a foul there on uh, Malu Balik na naman sa Diliman yung possession. Primpong. Switch, switch. Permanes, and now it swings on over. Sakaru taking back possession. Bad pass there. Very weak. So you can see both teams right now going all out. Napa aggressive nilang yon because they can't afford to drop this game, especially for Diliman. They want to go and get that go ahead goal. Into the midfield, it stays with Sakaru. Hideo, lilipat ngayon. Oh, 
ball will switch sides. And the early goings, both teams struggling just a little bit. Diliman in the maroon uniforms. Uh, very fitting. Siyempre naman. Siyempre naman. <laughs> kung hindi ka nakamaroon. At uh, Team Soccer naman ang nakapute. Again, for those who are just watching and the first time they've seen um, Diliman playing, these are made up of, uh, some of them are former players of uh, UP, UP Diliman. Oh. So it's a great start, um, especially for the school to actually have a sort of like a clear path to to having their players reach the professional level, level and playing for a team like Diliman United. Oh, because you think that if I'm going to football ako para sa UP, sa UAP, why, why not you know, stride and maybe make Diliman uh, my semi-pro team when, when I graduate? Exactly. Now it's very clear cut. That's naging, a naging problem throughout the years, no, for especially for football players in both the high school and collegiate level. That's the frustration that they don't go after. Oh, oh. So, especially when your skill level is that high, you're still on a high, mahirap kung wala kang mapapasukan. It will stay with uh, Diliman right now. Corner kick at uh, agad-agad. Napaka-dangerous ito para sa kuponan ng Team Socceroo. And you know, with a team like Diliman that has been together for so long, playing in the collegiate level, playing in the Division II level, mga set pieces na na mga ganito, there's so many different uh, plays that they can call right now. practice nila to, well thought out, positioning and all, and you know, it's something that Diliman is known for. Very dangerous for getting sa set pieces. Will be a goal kick for Sakuru as that set piece was wasted. So we have an injury. Oh, oh. someone is down. We can see that is, oh, that is Saidan Timpani. Timpani. That's going to be a problem if he's not at 100%. So he got hit in the back of the head. But hopefully he's okay. Sakuru needs him right now in this game. Oh, oh. And you know, just to share uh, uh, the frustrations that uh, some of our graphics people were going through as a great through ball. Oh, and it's stopped by great Jay Avellana. Great save by Jay Avellana. But what a shot from Andoni Santos. Great first touch right there. It could have been a clear goal for Andoni. A one-on-one -on -one situation with Jay Avellana. But Jay Avellana just dropped down and was able to stop that ball from going in. Great save. Mm. Look at the touch, boom. And Jay Avellana just sticking out the hand in the perfect position. It's a good save from Jay Avellana. Very quick to get down and protect, especially the middle area, the middle of his legs. Bakaru trying uh, something from far to no avail. Caballas will open play para sa Diliman. Andrew Santa uh, Santiago slipping. Slipping again, and it's still with Diliman. Back passing just to relieve that pressure. Since the ball handler, it swings on over now. Rances. See Soccer putting the pressure on early. Pressuring the back four. Waiting for them to create that mistake and do the counter. Real Zerudo feeling that pressure early on. As you can see, 32 degrees Celsius dito sa University of Mahati football field. 70% humidity. And for for teams that are that might not be used to this, that, that that's going to be tough. You in conditioning mo dyan. Medyo mahirap yung uh, situation ngayon for both teams. Knowing that it's this hot, they need to be able to pace themselves and make sure that they don't go all out. It's my second half pa sila. Oh. It's 90 minutes. Roy clears that out for Diliman FC, so it will stay with Sakaru. Okay, Papano Sakaru is showing some pace. You know, they, they had a couple opportunities a while ago. It's just the final third, nila, they just can't control it. 
you can see the confidence level now. Sakuri medyo matas. Now after it spilled over from that last win against Union, they feel that they can actually beat the Leman right now. And you know, you, if you look at the Leman, they they feel that they can somewhat be beaten because of what happened with Cebu Queen City. Exactly. Kailangan natin pagisipan what's going on in the in the players' heads right now, knowing that they are five points back uh -huh. now from Pachanga. And you know that Pachanga is on a winning streak. Great stop by Caballes. Tyrone Caballes in goal for Diliman. And tignan natin ulit. Great opportunity. Good foot on that. And I believe Tyrone Caballes was the uh, starting keeper for the UP Fighting Maroons um, in the last UAP season when they won it. And I believe he even won the best keeper award. So you know he's experienced experience wise, oh. um, competition level wise, pass me on. You know that uh, Diliman's in good hands right now. Primpong para sa Diliman. Pinigay kay Andoni Santos. Hideo for Sakuru taking it back. Hector Zagi has yet to get involved in this match. At, uh, as two players collide, Alegre is down and he's holding his knee. That is never a good sign. I hope it's nothing serious. With a uh, collision <laughs> between uh, him and Jay Eusebio. Tignan natin ulit. Oh, oh, right there. Clipped him. Ouch. And Alegre. You can see, nakita natin, it's near ni Alegre yung bola. And Jay Eusebio just went on and clipped him. That that did not look like a clean tackle whatsoever. That was definitely not a clean tackle. Oh, that was. Sakto kasi yung uh, yung knee cap niya dun eh. Oh. Tsaka yung momentum niya forward, the, the, the swinging motion. Oh. Plus you have Eusebios, you know, going the other way. Wow, we hope it's nothing yeah. serious. He is still wincing in pain. Frederico Alegre from a different angle as you can see look at the kneecap area and oh right there oh that is Eusebio just rode that leg wow napakasakit ka nakita ka natin yung momentum ni Alegre swinging forward and Eusebio flying forward the other direction Alegre is trying to see if he can still bend it and uh, he looks like He's okay. But it, it could be a serious knee injury, yeah. but hopefully he is okay. Picking himself off, walking it off. At the, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a substitution. But no, the, the play goes on. And Alegre will stay in the match. Ariel So that's that's gonna yeah. be a tough matchup. So Sakuru has to make those adjustments now and be able to help Alegre. Silva swinging it over. Romeo, shot. Oh, and that's shot. a goal! Oh. What a goal! Oh. Is that Rodriguez? Romeo, Romeo Rodriguez. Rodriguez. What a shot! Completo pa yung headband and all. Wow! Great shot from Romeo.